The real question is, is, am I just being a nuisance? You know, or are they open? Do they have an open heart? You know, I have an open heart, but I don't know about this family yet. Backtrack a little bit. I was getting hit with infrasound earlier. My heart started racing. There was a weight on my chest. My ears were ringing. I tried my best to envision, envisioning myself like giving a Sasquatch a hug because this is a new family. I haven't interacted with this family yet before. This is a new research location. And so this this is just the first time that we've really been back back exploring. We just kind of dipped in for 20 minutes the first time we came here. But this time I wanted to take a better look at the area. You know, there's more interesting stuff down that way. All over the place. Just a ton of sign that there's an indigenous population of Sasquatch that live in the area. Not to mention, you know, the first time we were here, in 20 minutes, we found a couple of the twisted and bent over tree branches. We found a couple footprints. I had a female Sasquatch make a whoop noise, which I've never heard before, I think, because it just sounded feministic compared to anything that I've heard before really and then uh, my dad felt like he was being watched and then I was able to capture a couple pictures of a family of them that were cloaked so I know for fact that they're here this right here if I was to put it looks like it would be a left foot and if I was to place my foot next to it it's much bigger than my much bigger than my uh, uh, my boot and I have my heel matched up to the approximate location of the back because maybe a little further back. That right there, I believe, is a print. So. The carcasses right here, which still have a little bit of meat on them, or I guess maybe cartilage or something where they, the meat had been stripped off the bone. Um, and then there is, looks like some kind of a shoulder joint or something right there and then miscellaneous bones kind of spread out over here by the structure and then some leading off in I think that direction when I came here the previous night by happenstance um, when I turned the camera this way there was uh, one of them that was just right down there just beyond the tree right there hiding its body and uh, I got nervous and I felt like I was being watched I had the hair kind of stand on end on my body and then you notice that I, I kept going back and forth like this the original video because I felt like I was being watched from all directions. When I pan the camera back this way, over in those trees, is where I caught two cloaked beings um, squatting down really low to the ground. And it looked like one was squatting down behind the other one. I think those were the adults. And then I think that the one that was over here could have been a juvenile. 